Hello, welcome to Sew Veronica. Just me, Sew Veronica. I am ironing my fabric and I thought this would be a good time to do a little bit of a fabric haul. So I went to my local fabric shop. Oh, Quilting by the Yard, I think it is here in Topeka. And then I had ordered some stuff from Fabric Paradise. Elka, a Fabric Paradise is a dream. You should hook her, you know, call her, order some fabric. And Joanne's. So this is some outdoor fabric that I got at Joanne's. Isn't that cute? Little llamas. It was on sale. I don't remember what it is. Maybe $8.99 a yard. And I just thought it was cute. I'm going to make some outdoor pillows. This was a... Someone has a special request for some patriotic mask. This is Timeless Treasures. I love this fabric. I had made an apron out of it. And of course, uh, it's old. This is just some Waverly um, or pre-cut from Walmart. This is from Timeless Treasure. Uh, no, okay. This is I got this at my local store, Quilting by the Yard. It's Art Bernie by the Blank Quilting Corp. Anyway, they had this, and then they had another the same print but in the light background. This one I got from Elka by Fabric by the Yard. I love this print. It's been around for a long time, and it's just really fun. It you if you're lucky, you can get it in turquoise. Have a little bit of the turquoise still. Um, it also comes in a light background and then this background. And then I thought Coca Cocapelli was cute. And I got this one also at Quilting by the Yard in Topeka. Got this one here in town at Quilting at the Yard by the Yard. This was a Joann's uh, Star Wars. This was at uh, here locally. Someone has a request for some um, horse face mask. And Timeless Treasures came from Fabric Paradise. And then a more Waverly pre-cut. And then I got this locally at Quilting by the Yard, the Patriot. And then I still have more. Is this not fun? Look at this. Look at this. I haven't ironed it. I, I, I don't, who else washes all their fabric and then irons it and stores it? I do. I do. See, that's all been pre-washed and ironed and put up. That's just some of my fabric. I have fat quarters and swatches, big pieces, leftovers over there. And then there's a bunch of my flannels. And then minky, minky. And then you can't see them, but down on the ground over there and then back in that corner, I have two buckets of scraps. This is my new, I did a video already. I don't know. This is my new um, sewing room. Okay, here's my surging thread. There's pictures of my girls up there when they were much younger. There's the closet. I still don't have the closet done. I'm still working on that. But back over here are patterns. And then this, these tabs are stuff I have made already to go from the glass quick, um, quilt show, not quilt show, but quilt, um, craft show I did. And I'm not doing anything right now during COVID, so I just put it over there. Got some new shoes and pre-treated them. And then there's some folklorical costumes. I still need to do some alterations to lace for folklorical costumes. I need to put all this away. It's a apron I had taken. I had someone buy, let's see, I just dropped off eight and before that 14. So 20, good golly, I can't even, 22 aprons from me. And this is one I took her as a to show and she picked out and I haven't put that one away yet. This is some yarn scraps. I have all my yarn downstairs. Uh, my mannequin. This is packing station and Cricut stuff. I want to get two more shelves to like to go up here. Can you believe? Look, okay. I want you to see. This is my sewing setup right now. I hope I'm not making you sick, sick moving. Okay. What you can't see over there. Well, you can see the box. Is I have a. Uh, 965Q in that box and I'm just don't really want to get rid of it but if somebody's watching this video and they're interested in one with a table with a lift there's a table over there at the lift um, the insert for the cutout it's an acrylic insert and I have like four specialty feet that I paid a lot of money for I just don't I don't know I love that machine but I can't justify it because I have this one and my big table I have that serger and then I have an 
I get the numbers mixed up, but I think I have the old 936 um, Husqvarna, the, the five thread with the cover that does the cover stitch. It's back in there, and you can't see back in there is the five thread. It's right there. And then back over here stored, I have a older heavy case, in a heavy case um, machine with all the cams, and it can sew leather. And then I have a uh, Kenmore back over there. And so, okay, I'm still moving in. So excuse the mess. These are aprons that are made that are going to sell. They're all back out there. I know the lighting's bad. I apologize. But I just wanted to kind of do a quick video of my new sewing room slash office. That's my office. That's where I actually work work per se for my real job. I telework. And then here's shipping stuff. And I have orders I've got to get out. And, uh, there's this, these two, I gotta clean this up. I don't know who else is like this. I, I'm constantly going. Downstairs is my 94 year old mother in law who I'm taking care of this week because my husband's out of town. So I just bring her to my house to make it easier because I work full time and I sew all the time. Um, these are apron pieces. I've gotta get this organized and cleaned up and then paint for when I painted the room. And, uh, and there's my cricket. I wanna find some time to really spend on Oh, that's one of the tubs full of fabric that I need to sort it's um it's uh pieces you know just and then there's my new gal and um uh, it is and then my dog she's always with me one of my dogs is always in here so I just kind of wanted to do a video of my new setup it's not all the way done so just kind of you know take it with a grain of salt I always wish that these dormer walls, I think that's what they're called, they slant, weren't here, that went out. But you know, it takes money. Dormer is when you take it out. That's right, that's what my husband said. We have a dormer in the room that's next door. Okay, so you see this big setup here? Okay, masks that are done for sale. It does get hot up where we do have central air, but I get really hot. Some more thread that I use a lot more often. Okay, this little part right here, this little area right here, See it? See it? And I'm going to stand in it for context. Oh gosh, it gets really dark. Let me turn the light on. Sorry. Okay. This little area. I hope I'm not making any emotion six. This used to be my sewing room. This was it. This is all I sewed in. This little area right here. And... I used to sew in an area even smaller than this. Then I went to here. Then as the kids grew out, I got the room next door. Oh, my bad paint job, don't look at it. And then I moved downstairs. And I have a video of that. And then when my knew I was gonna have to bring in my mother-in-law with me more often, I uh, moved up here so she could have the bedroom downstairs. Don't judge my daily Diet Coke. But is this fabric not fun? This is going to be a ruffle on an apron. And I think I might make some small zipper bags. Um, earlier today, I have some kitchen towels to finish tonight. Um, early today, I did finish up those eight aprons. Um, I already gave them to her, so I can't show you. Um, they were really cute. And... It had a heart and said love and then her name. Um, she's 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 a friend of mine. She's passing from cancer and um, she's gifting aprons to people and so those were special order. But yeah, this is my new setup here. There's I condensed all my books. I used to have a lot more and I got rid of them. That's all I have left. And so my new sewing room. So Veronica. This is where I create. This is where I spend most of my time sewing. I well, hope you enjoyed the tour.